Hi and welcome to my channel, Journal Eclectic. I hope everyone is doing fine. Today I'm Carol and today I'm going to continue some finishing on the Spring Journal. Also, don't forget to visit my coffee page for your freebies. They are up to make a journal kit. I would be happy if you would subscribe to my channel, leave a comment like a little art and hit the like button. This will help my channel at no cost to you. Now, as you can see on my uh, starting video is that I did some finishing before, but not intentionally since I forgot to hit the record button. So I have about 40 minutes of uh, finishing some of the things like uh, gluing the tab on this uh, journal card uh, and so on. So it's not uh, tragic, but uh, I would have liked to have it uh, shown for you. For example, some of these clusters, uh, this decoration on the pocket, that's something I did before. And uh, the f good thing about having cl ready-made clusters is that you can actually just pick them out of the box and put them anywhere you want in your project. I'm also rounding up the corners of the journal cards because I don't like how it feels when uh, you get poked on the on the skin with the sharp corners. This is a, a gum uh, box that I, I use to put my uh, sentiments in. So words that I've already put on a little piece of cardboard. Like uh, again, uh, it is always easier when you can just pick something and glue it down. I'm also going to use the strips of uh, the top of the 12 by 12 papers to add some uh, decoration to certain uh, piece of uh, the journal. Still don't know if I'm gonna keep those there. I did add the decorative uh, strips uh, to hide the white border that the papers left since they weren't uh, gluing down uh, very straight. I wanted the envelope to be um, uh, in contrast with the rest of the papers, so I picked this green. This is the strips that uh, you can use to decorate uh, further your journal. I'm tracing the envelope and cutting my page. Just what I need, so uh, if I need uh, a long strip, I can actually use the paper again. For the opening of this envelope, I'm actually going to uh, use a template uh, from another MBNA uh, envelope. And I'm going to trace it with uh, graphite paper. And I should have been more careful because my template is a bit shorter on one side than on the other. And now that I'm tracing, I actually uh, put it way too far on the left and of course when you're using your uh, cutting knife always be careful not to cut yourself it's easy to just uh, uh, hurt yourself with this uh, knife and also uh, you can cut the, your blades when they are dull you just have to snap uh, the the first one off I 
So how do you find this series so far? Do you like uh, the idea of using your 12 by 12 paper pads for this kind of project? So far, I like it. Of course, I think it's not enough uh, vintagey uh, or grungy. So my next video will probably be about that. How I'm going to make it look like it's a, an old journal. Again, a little cluster here that was already made. All I did was add the scrap of fabric. The tall journal card I did uh, around the corners and put a well tab on top of it that is made out of vellum. Now the important thing about the vellum is to either use the art uh, glitter glue since it's very dry and uh, glues instantly or some uh, double sided tapes which are a bit more uh, hard to use uh, since it's small but it works great. Here I'm adding uh, a little strip of color. Using the leftover of my green paper to make uh, journal cards. Covering the inside of this envelope. And I'm also going to add a strip of bloom bloom that you can see uh, on the right side near the glue. So it covers the top uh, of it. Now on this uh, other part of the uh, mailer, uh, I'm going to close down the bottom and also add some <laughs> hinge. Although it's not on that uh, particular envelope that uh, I need them, I uh, finally just uh, use some of the scrap papers to make the hinge. And I'm going to put a uh, scotch tape on the inside so uh, the card won't be... Uh, tugging in it. This is what I should have done for all my pockets. But live and learn again my uh, ready-made uh, sentiment. So much easier than starting with cutting on the paper and everything. So those are legal size uh, papers that I coffee dyed and I'm going to cut them to size for my journal. And the good thing is that it leaves uh, big enough uh, scrap papers that I'm going to cut so I can use it uh, in the journal again uh, for a writing paper or uh, what I will maybe do is a notepad or another little car uh, notebook. I don't know yet. I'm also going to use a three old stitch pamphlet uh, binding, which probably the other way around. And on this particular uh, binding, I will uh, start in the middle, but from the outside. So my tail will be outside the book, not inside, and I will be able to use the extra twine to uh, make the closure. Now here what's uh, important since I only have one signature is to uh, make sure when you go come back in the middle hole to not uh, put the needle inside the twine. Otherwise you won't be able to adjust your twine in the tightness of the signature. It's really the easiest way to uh, bind your signature in the journal. You make a knot at, with the, uh, at, uh, right there so you actually uh, don't lose your signature and that's it. 
We have a binding and a closure. So now you can see I'm using the leftover papers called the leftover coffee dyed papers and I put them a bit everywhere in the journal. Now, you know what it means when you see a crocodile? It means we'll be doing some eyelets. So I'm using the small hole because I'm using the small eyelets on the well tabs of all uh, the well tabs in the journal. This will uh, give me the opportunity to make uh, some uh, dangles and not to break the paper. So I'm doing them also all at the same time. Why not, right? Also, if you have ready-made clusters that you have used um, uh, tags for uh, joining them, you can flatten them out like this. It will hold a lot better on your project. So this is going quite uh, well. And since it is a very uh, short video, I will uh, again tell you how important your support is to me for growing my channel. So please subscribe, comment and hit the like button. Visit my coffee page for the freebies and also check out my uh, junk journals that I have for sale. I also have a digital uh, kit for a junk, junk journal uh, that is uh, only $4. So uh, go check it out and thank you again for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!